Hey YouTube, Renee here again. Just uh, the end of a Friday, end of a week, work week. Just uh, you know, coming home. Thought I'd uh, just you know say hello, make a quick video. Unfortunately for me, I still have a lot of stuff to do. I still have to you know clean the house and uh, just you know do a whole bunch of stuff. So. Unfortunately, this uh, this video is just like I said. It's just uh, me, you know, chatting you guys up a little bit. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do a tobacco review because, like I said, I just really don't have, you know, much time. Um, mind you, not that this video is gonna be any shorter than my usual videos, but uh, mm. I'm smoking. In case you want to know. Um, so if you can see it, Boswell's Northwoods. Um, very good stuff. I'm sure you all know it. This you, you guys know what I'm talking about. Everybody knows them. And everybody knows Northwoods. And I'm smoking my custom David Jones poker it's uh, this is uh, one of my uh, one of my first custom pipes that I had made for me and uh, mr. David Jones was uh, kind enough to grab the crude rendering of a picture that I drew up. I do not know how to draw. But I drew up something just, you know, just really infantile because I can't draw. Uh, and, uh, you know, he was able to, you know, take what I drew and create this out of it. Which was more than I expected. I mean, I seriously did not expect something this cool. So, my um, my first custom pipe was by him as well. It was another poker, uh, and then I got then I got this one. Yeah, this is my second one by him. Uh, not my first, my second. So, if you guys, uh, in case anybody doesn't know David Jones, uh, you know, go check him out. Um, guy he does great work and um, you know he he sent me the pipe I asked him how much he said you don't have to pay me until you get the pipe and sure enough I get the pipe and that's when I paid him unbelievable I couldn't believe it I was like okay sure man I, that's great took about I don't know maybe a week for him to make the pipe and ship it Very, very reasonable prices. Very reasonable. And anyway, guys, um, I actually do have a uh, have a box opening to do, but uh, like I said, I just have a lot of stuff today, and uh, you know, I don't, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get into it. But it is killing me to do it. But you know. Um, so I don't know, you know, I, I thought I'd just take a little little time and maybe talk to you guys about how I came to um, be able to afford <laughs> so much um, cool stuff. And that's only because um, I'm, like I told you guys before, I'm, you know, not made of money. Um, and, but, you know, as you've seen on my videos, you know, every time I do a tobacco review, I usually open a new tin. Uh, that's not because, you know, I'm able to buy, you know, tobacco whenever I want. Trust me, that doesn't happen. But what I did was I came to a sort of decision in my life. And, uh, I decided to trade one hobby for another simple as that and what I mean by that is 
Ever since I was um, a teenager, one of the things that I did was I used to collect Zippos. I mean, I, I've always collected Zippo, you know, Zippo lighters. And I've always had, you know, um, Zippos lying around. I always carried one with me. I used to be, you know, a cigarette smoker, so, you know, I always carried one with me. But, um, for the most part, it's like I, I'd go to swap meets, you know, I'd go to garage sales, and that's basically all I would look for. It's just, you know, um, old lighters. Simples mainly, but you know, I you know grab what any any old lighter that I could buy for a buck or two bucks, and, you know, whatever. And you know, usually I'd bring them home, see if they worked, and you know, check them out a little bit. But you know, I didn't I didn't really use them because you know all I really needed was one Zippo. That's why I, I had that already in my pocket. So I would just stick them in an old you know wooden box that I had and put them in the closet. That's all I did with them. But that was my hobby, and I liked it. I loved it. So. Around the time that I started making videos, oddly enough, um, that's when I decided, okay, you know what, I just got tired of not being able to afford to get myself something all the time, you know. I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about, you know, you keep saying, oh, you know what, in my next paycheck, in my next paycheck, I'll, you know, I'll get myself a pipe, I'll, you know, get myself some tobacco and... It just never happens, you know, something always comes up, you know, you always have to buy something else. So, I got, uh, I got tired of uh, just, you know, having all these little, you know, things, just so, uh, you know, it's just, just an unusable hobby, if you will, you know, because it was just, you know, it's just all these lighters just lying around. Just you know, I, I wasn't displaying them. I didn't display them or anything like that. I just had them in a box. So I thought, okay, well, you know what? Right now, I have a hobby, pipe smoking, that I really enjoy, and that I actually get enjoyment out of it. I actually get use out of it. I use it all the time. I have all these Zippo lighters, all these you know vintage lighters antique lighters just sitting in a box. I don't do anything with them. They're cool and I like collecting them, but I don't do anything with them. So I thought, you know what? Why don't I just trade? I'll trade one for the other. I'll sell my lighters to buy myself finally, you know, uh, something that I want, you know. I mean, I mean, buy myself, uh, give me a get myself a good amount of stuff, you know, regarding pipes and tobacco. So that's what I did. I started putting all my Zippo lighters on eBay, and um, lo and behold, they, uh, they sold very quickly. Uh, and you know, I, I I made I made some pretty good dough. You know, I mean, not not a lot, but it was enough. It was enough. It, it was just like right on the money, actually, enough to be able to afford you know a, a couple of nice pipes. I mean, you know, the nicest pipes so far I've been able to afford. Some of the nicest ones, uh, I was able to afford that, and uh, you know, just done. Maybe they're not nice pipes, but I love them. You know, they're, they're, you know, I love these pipes, so they're nice to me. Uh, they're the coolest pipes in the world because, you know, they're mine. Anyway, um, I'm sure you guys, you know, you guys, your pipes are the coolest in the world, I know. And they are um, because they're yours. That's just it. And so, you know, I was able to, you know, afford a couple of pipes, and I was able to afford, more importantly, you know, a couple of... Um, a couple of nice orders from you know pipesandcigars.com and smoking pipes I think uh, you know Boswell's uh, you know I was able to you know be, you know buy myself some some tobacco some new tobacco even though of course my wife is you know sitting there complaining about why I you know why I bought tobacco and I have a whole bunch that you know I'm never going to be able to smoke it's like I don't know 
You know, if you're not if you're not a pipe smoker, you just you don't understand the passion. You don't you don't know what it's like. And so, you know, I was able to do that, and uh, so that's why, you know, the videos that I started making, uh, every time you see me do, uh, you know, a review, I'm usually opening up a new tent. That's because, you know, I was able to afford uh, two nice orders from, you know, pipesandcigars.com, um, and, um, you know what, yeah, they were both from pipes, I didn't order anything from smokingpipes.com, I didn't. No, I didn't order anything from them. I just ordered from Pipes and Cigars and uh, from Boswell's, of course. Wish I could have gotten myself a couple of pipes from Boswell's, but I ordered tobacco instead. You know, I thought, you know, I don't know. I had already gotten a few pipes and, you know, I'll get some tobacco. So. So uh, hopefully tomorrow, by tomorrow I should be, you know, I should have everything clean already and, you know, uh, I'll do a, a box opening video tomorrow and it'll be, you know, my last order. But hey, you know what, I'm set. I'm, uh, I'm definitely I'm set for the rest of the year. I'm definitely set for, you know, I don't know, well into next year. So, and, you know, I don't know, I, I, thought, I, I thought I would miss, you know, I thought I would have a harder time doing what I did. Because, you know, it's some of those lighters, I had them since I had been a kid, literally. Because, you know, it's just stuff that I found. You know, so some of that stuff, I mean, had been with me for over 20 years. And, you know, there's sentimental value. But, uh, you know, I don't know. Thank God I'm a shallow person. <laughs> I, uh, you know, all that went out the window as soon as I saw that I could afford a couple new pipes. So, and you know, I, I didn't do, you know, I don't know, I didn't, I don't really miss it at all. I don't because, like I said, I was just, it, they were just in my closet, not doing anything. And uh, this is something that I enjoy every day, you know, so I don't miss it at all and I don't regret it at all. I thought it was the, you know, the best thing I could have done. I, I should have done it before, but, you know, I didn't think about it. The only bad thing about it is that, you know, I resold it all, so this is all I got. But trust me, like I said, it's it's plenty. And I'm very thankful for what I have. I'm you know I'm overwhelmed literally by what it, what I have. I'm I'm very thankful. I'm not I'm not saying that I need anything. I I I really don't and you know I believe that God gives me what I need, and um, I'm good with that, you know. I want a whole bunch of other stuff, but, you know, I don't think I need it. And if in the future I'm able to afford it, then, you know, it'll be a nice a nice bonus for me, a nice plus, but that that's all it will be. It, it won't be something that, you know, will, it's like I'll die if I don't have it. No, not at all. Anyways, guys, um, I guess that's, that's, all I wanted to talk about. Like I said, I'll uh, tomorrow I will do a box opening. I couldn't do a box opening before, you know, because I was just too excited to, you know, get it. And uh, trust me, I have this box here. I, it's killing me not to do it. But you know, even if I wasn't going to do a box opening video, I still probably wouldn't have had the chance to do it. So uh, I guess that's it, guys. Once again, Mr. Renee, thanks for uh, listening. And uh, happy Friday. I uh, hope you guys uh, have a good weekend. Compadres, comadres, bye con Dios.